Hey, what's going on everybody? So it's Keith back here with you again. And in this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to handle um, downloading extensions or reading about them in Visual Studio Code. So the main goal is to show you how to do this with a screen reader. It is a little iffy. I mean, it is accessible, but uh, you just kind of have to do a little bit of um, couple tricks just to make sure you get to where you want to go so we're going to be using NVDA screen reader and again we're looking at the Visual Studio uh, Visual Studio Code extensions so what I'm going to do is just install a extension called live server um, but again like I said it's a little tricky to kind of move around but I'm gonna show you some techniques little tips that I've I use so the first thing is we're inside of Visual Studio Code to get to uh, your extensions to be able to search or view the ones you have installed you're going to do a shift control x as an x-ray so it's all at the same time application complementary landmark search extensions in market all right so it pulls up search extensions in marketplace and immediately puts us in the text field um, if you press tab here twice you'll go into the list of extensions you already have installed but let's say that you don't have any the first one i'm going to show you um, probably the only one right now because they're going to all be uh, virtually the same so live server i'm just going to type live space live. server now what this one does is it gives you the ability to quickly run your html in the browser and then have hot reload which means that you can save your file and as soon as you save it reloads now this also lets you do a little bit of testing with javascript too so uh, really good for front-end developers so i typed it in if you press tab and we do get some feedback when you type it in you get like the uh, amount of results that were returned so we're going to press tab server extensions list now it's going to put us in the extensions list the first one we're looking for live server comma 5.6 all right so it is the first one we're looking for now if you don't press enter on anything in this list let's say you come to live share comma live share now let's just go back to live server, live server that's just me down there at up here um and if you already know what this is you don't want to look at it you can just press tab toolbar install you'll get right into the toolbar and that's where you can install so if you shift tab live server comma five. we're actually going to press enter on this because this is where it gets tricky because we want to read about it all right so extension colon live server dash visual studio now what happens here is it opens up what visual studio code calls like a virtual document so it's basically like a web page that's pulled inside of visual studio code and um it, it gives you the navigation uh, that you would want for a screen reader, like headings and lists and things like that, but we have to get to it. Now, what I do is, is if you press F6, status bar. All right, this rotates you kind of through your status bar, your navigation, the content area, and then a main area. So, and it depends on what all's up there. Now, right now we have a virtual document open. So, navigation landmark. Now I hit F6 again. Complementary landmark. And that's a third time. Virtual document doc. And I hit it the fourth time, and you hear virtual document. Now, what I have found out to this virtual document. Now, if I press tab, I'm pressing tab, shift tab, nothing's happening. Now, if I press shift tab enough, enough, um, sometimes something happens, and sometimes it just doesn't talk. Uh, so the way to handle this is to actually press F6 till you get to the navigation extension colon navigation landmark all right so now that I'm in the navigation you want to press shift tab virtual MIT license and immediately it gains that focus to the vir virtual document now granted we are at the bottom of this document but now we have our web navigation with our screen reader press control home button scroll to top it gives me a uh, puts me on the button to scroll top now what happens is is visually this is just a button that sticks with you uh, as you scroll down through this and then you can always just click it to get back to the top so 
right now we're inside of this virtual document if i press h for my heading live server heading level one you hear live server it immediately brings me to that first heading now i'm not going to go through this with you but i will let you know that this is the information page that you would actually see online if you were to go to the visual studio visual studio code marketplace so here's where you can find general information about the app updates and reviews maintenance and bugs and then you'll also uh, figure out or find the documentation on how, what how to use the app or i mean the extension and what's uh other tools because some extensions work together so um but i hope this helps you out now just to tell you one more thing so we're in this virtual document now if you actually just shift control x to get back to your extension colon live server all right so it puts you in the search field and we already have extension typed extensions list live server we go to our extension list we're still on live server if we press tab toolbar install to get to that install button um we can press enter virtual document document installing extension live server started dot an editor is now open with more details on this extension document heading level one live server okay so and what that means is whenever you actually if i wouldn't have installing pressed installing extension to, live server is completed dot okay so it says it's completed now um what it done was after we installed it just opened up this virtual document again and um because we had already opened Info it, colon, it gained the focus. Left bracket, new right bracket, live server at 5.6 colon. Browser preview integration, comma, auto fall back to random port and fixes. Dot. Okay, so it's just going to tell us some stuff about live server. Now, the best thing to do when you, after you ins install an extension, press F1, or you can do shift control P, main goal, get to your command palette. Extension colon. I'm going to press F1, type reload. Three results. Three results. Developer colon reload window comma developer colon reload window that's what we want press enter virtual document 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 blank i'm gonna shut the speech screen reader off. off now just to turn the speech off so i can talk now what this does just reloads the extension and or the entire window of visual studio code and then that extension becomes usable um so that is how you um handle downloading and viewing extensions in visual studio code while using a screen reader again most time um uh you're not going to have any trouble if you can see what's going on but if you are using a screen reader um I, all i can tell you is this this is the closest pattern i found to being able to um know that it's going to work every time so sometimes that's how it works with the screen reader you just don't know uh, if it's sometimes it, you just have to navigate something differently every time but the main goal as long as you get that end result you're good to go so i hope you enjoyed in the next video we are going to be taking a look at um extensions that i have installed and what i believe is a need to have for beginners uh when you're writing html css javascript things like that php python uh, that you need to have these extensions because it's it's always good to learn the the fundamentals and make sure you understand syntax and things like that but once you learn that stuff having to uh when you use these extensions it really helps out workflow productivity uh quality that's a big deal so again, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.